There's a bicycle build for two. You could always be doing that. Here at the highest point, guys, 8,500 feet, almost 8,600 feet, Mesa Verde National Park. That's what's up. Cool as hell. The uh, Fire Mountain Lookout here, guys. That's so cool. Could you imagine me posted up in there for a month? fire lookout duty. Squirrel. Glad to finally get here. This is the second national park I've been to on this trip. Like, national national park. I've been to some uh, national historical parks, some national monuments, national recreation areas, but this is the second national park. National park. Starting to really look like Indiana Jones Last Crusade. It's crazy, right? Home of the Pueblo Indians. Wow, it's incredible. Looking down on birds. <laughs> Here at the Geological Overlook, Mesa Verde. Check a one, two, y'all. Woo! That shit'll take your hat right off. Take your scalp with it. All right, you guys. All right, day six in Durango. Got the bike back today, Saturday. Brand new. Brand new paddle shifter on there. Um, couldn't have happened at a better time, guys, rolling inside the uh, Durango city limits. Yeah, this is day six in Durango. I'm pulling out tomorrow morning. Got a hotel room here tonight, so I'm just going to chill, maybe upload another video for you guys. But anyway, the trek is back. That's solved. They put the thing on in like a half hour, and uh, I'm good to go. So, And it's looking like from uh, Durango to L.A., it's looking like it could be 
800 miles, only 800 miles is kind of how I'm looking at that, which I'm a little bit bummed about that. You know, my route's going to be a little bit different than the absolute fastest route. I might have another 1,200 miles left in this trip. Um, really just over 3,000 miles here. But Durango is a very, very cool town. I spent so much time here, I like want to move here too. So I'd like to go see some more national parks. Um, I did get a chance to go up to Mesa Verde while I was in town. So kind of crossed that off the list. I don't have the bicycle tour to it, which is very nice because it's one way in, one way out. And like the Cliff Palace, you know, the classic Mesa Verde Cliff Palace is 23 miles in. So that's a hell of a day. You know, there is a campground in there, but I don't know, whatever. So got to another national park anyway. Enjoying one last evening here in Durango. Monday morning here in Durango, guys. Not a lot of soul around. How about that? No, it's Sunday. Rolling out of Durango right now, guys. What up? What's up, guys? I'm about a thousand miles away from LA, guys. We'll be wrapping this thing up shortly. Uh, that week in Durango was a, a lot of time off. Heading, uh, heading west out of Durango, guys. Heading to Cortez. Check it out on the map. What? That's it for Durango. Bike's all fixed up. I got a ton of stuff here, guys. I think that drone and the drone case are throwing me off, but I only got a thousand miles to go, so I'm gonna see what I can do with it. I look ridiculous, but here we go, you know. It's time to push on. Let's wrap this thing up. camped out at a uh, RV park here, um, Ute, Ute Mountain Casino, basically the last stop before the uh, the desert. So. Morning everybody. Windy today. In the tent, in the REI Flash Air 1, totally dry. And this is like, this is like the sixth time out of 50 days camping, there isn't condensation on the inside of this tent. But anyway, I think it's, uh, what, day 66? So Four Corners National Monument is closed. COVID-related, whatever. But, um, I'm still going to touch uh, New Mexico, and then I will be getting into uh, Utah today. So very excited about that. Hitting state number 13 and state number 14 today. Three-state challenge. But like I said, guys, that wind is, like, crushing through across this, uh, across this field. And, uh, I got eight miles south. I'll be heading that way, which is a tailwind. Where the hell am I? Four Corners National Monument is closed. I'm not gonna go to Four Corners, and then um, and then I'm gonna continue into Utah. So I'll be camping in Utah tonight. If this wind keeps up, I could probably make it all the way to Mexican Hat, Utah. Then again, I'm getting into some beautiful terrain here, so it's, you know, it, it's definitely gonna be slowing me down. I mean, check that out. That's not even like a monument, va you know, that's not even like Monument Valley here or anything. That's just a. God, that is amazing. Really rolling out of those Rocky Mountains. Really feeling it. But, uh, onto some beautiful countryside, guys. This is all new terrain for me, guys. Um, I have, uh, I have been all over Utah, bike tour through Utah, lived in Utah. I worked at a national park in Utah there for a while. So I knew, I know Utah pretty well. Um, but never been to New Mexico. I've never been to Arizona. I'll be camping in Utah tonight and then tomorrow be heading towards Monument Valley so I'll probably be camping in Arizona tomorrow 
that'll be my first time in Arizona, which I am completely excited about. And uh, of course, going to the Grand Canyon. I just spent freaking 26 days in Colorado. Can you believe? <laughs> Can you believe that? And ooh. Well, I made a penny today. Not bad. I haven't spent any money. Uh, yeah, I did. Spent 23 bucks at the gas station. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, as southwest in Colorado as you could possibly get. <laughs> 236 to 236 to Flagstaff. Oh! Don't you hate when you see those when you're driving? On a bike, it's like, okay, a couple of days. Yeah. That's what I call barren. That's cool, man. Southwest, everybody. Well, I guess I'm not doing New Mexico this year, guys. Down to the, uh, down to the state lines, five miles, five miles back, five miles up and back. Um, just to touch a state line, I'm not going to be bike touring that state anyway. I think I'm going to leave that state completely untouched, save it for a bike tour, unless, uh, I don't know, unless I end up driving through it on the way home or something like that. Not going to New Mexico. I'm at the turn off right here, uh, 160, getting on to Route 41. Well, that's it, guys. State number 13, Utah. Thanks for, uh, thanks for staying tuned for my Colorado adventure. Uh, yeah, I was in Colorado for 26 days. That was, that was pretty awesome. I'm really heading for, like, Mexican hat, and uh, I'm going after Monument Valley this year, guys. So stay tuned. Look at this. Look at this SOB.